Fancy a little look around B&M to see what they've got that's new in store and maybe what they've got for Halloween. Well, I am Ree from mummyof4.com. I am going to B&M because I need a handful of things, a small list of things. And I want to have a little look around the autumnal stuff, the Halloween stuff. I do not need much, but stay tuned all the way to the end to see what I actually end up buying in the haul. Let's go. Straight into the scent boosters. Now, I haven't tried that scent before. Exotic bloom, should we smell? Mm. I think that's quite nice. Has anyone tried this one before? Let me know in the comments. I think that's... Mm. With... I normally go for like pink flavours. Flavours? <laughs> they're not flavours, they're smells. Pinky smells. I think perhaps we'll give some of this a go. Is that the same exotic bloom? So we've got the 7.99, 570 grams, so that's 14p per kilogram. And then the smaller ones, 3.99, so that's 50. So they actually work out at much better value in this giant one. So maybe we should go for some fabric softener as well, just so we've got the matching scent. The question is, do they have any of the capsules or anything in kind of a matching scent? They've got spring edition with daffodils, just bold, I don't know, I think this is just like a point of sale but at the beginning. I think I'm going to see if they've got the capsules further around in the store. Maybe grab another one of those too. Ooh, they've got the crease releaser as well. Crease releaser. Now, this stuff's amazing. I use this on the bed. Just one word of warning. It makes floors so slippery. It makes them kind of like an ice rink. So if you're spraying this stuff, be careful you don't get any on the floor on tiles or laminate because super, super slippery. I've actually got one of these scrub daddy things. Am I missing out? I kind of feel like I might want a scrub mommy though, not a scrub daddy. Are they just, they're, oh, they're very harsh. It's a much, um, much harsher sponge than I thought it would be. Very, uh, it says it's scratch free. That feels very scratch -y. Is that a scrub dog? Scrub puppy? I don't know, scrub puppy maybe. And then what's that? Oh, that's to put your scrub daddy on. I see. Anyway, I've only even got one of these. It says it's like scratch free. I it feels so scratchy though, so some sort of wizardry must um, make that work. Getting into some kind of gift things now, I guess, already for Christmas. Um, although these bath bomb type things um, are quite good for putting in like present boxes and things for when the children have got birthday parties to go to. I always find that there's more options for birthday parties for like girly birthday parties, things like bath bombs and things. Finding presents for William's friends is always a bit more tricky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're getting into some Halloween bits already. And I love this lilac and black Halloween stuff. It's gorgeous. So this is like um, a white clean tablecloth. No idea how big our table is. Not a clue. Is it that size? Don't know. Love the napkins as well. <gasps> love them. It's, it's just, it's something you don't normally see, isn't it? Normally it's all oranges, which is great for Halloween. Um, so that cupcake stands. This is a bit traditionally more like what you'd expect to see. Paper straws. I really love this bowl, actually. Trick or treat bowl. I know we've got a trick or treat. We've got like a big ceramic bowl. That might be better for like a party or something with children. Also quite like this dish. Five pounds. Bats on it. Very nice. And then bags of sweets. Might be worth stocking up on these for uh, trick or treat parties, bowls, that kind of thing. Treacle toffees. Hmm, haven't tried those. They look like a very traditional kind of sweet. And then they've got these, um, which I guess feel Christmassy, but I suppose are suitable for Halloween trick or treating kind of stuff as well. Lots more trick or treat kind of sweets. So we've got um, eyeball lollipops. I'm always really paranoid with lollipops about choking, so I try and avoid letting my children have them, um, just because we've had heard horror stories of choking with hard lollies and then these are more lollipops so I'm probably going to stay clear of those trick or treat sweets again lollipops and various bits oh zombie fingers 
and zombie body parts. Wow. Looking ahead to Christmas, I know why it's only September, but uh, if anyone's looking for them, they're the frozen doll heads for hairdressing, I guess, uh, practicing for little ones. Um, we've got Queen Anna and Queen Elsa, and they are £37. Pounds. Cadbury's buttons are really going all out in different flavours, aren't they? So we've got Caramac, uh, white chocolate, and I've seen other flavours. We had um, orange buttons recently, which are really nice, and then more traditional chocolates that we're familiar with. Oh, an orange Yorkie, are they nice? And then small cheese minis, and they're in paper packaging. That's interesting. Good for the environment. Oh, animal bars. Used to have those when I was little. They are now 29p, and they were like 10p or something like that. Oh gosh, I'm sounding old. Hold the phone. No way. That says opal fruits on it, as in made to make your mouth water. <gasps> it says made to make your mouth water on it. It literally says it. This was the marketing of opal fruits when I was little. Um, now I'm in my late 30s. Who remembers when these were actually called opal fruits? My husband's gonna go nuts for that. The children won't know what they are. Gotta get them. Quality Street somethings. Oh my goodness, it's Quality Street in a bar. The purple one, that's a favorite. Orange Crunch. <gasps> They're like two of the best quality street, arguably. I mean, would you agree that those are two of the best flavors? And they're now available in a bar. These are a pound a bar. Wow. You're coming home with me. Now, we all know I love the Skinny Whip bars, and my very favorite are the mint and also the pink ones, which are strawberry. Can't see any of those. Not entirely fussed on those. Orange are a bit in there. But also, what are these? Skinny Whip Minis for hazelnut and chocolate and coconut and chocolate. William quite likes coconut. I don't know, are they going to be any good? They have got a lot, a lot of these straws for milk. So I guess you suck up the milk through the straws and then it flavours them. Probably not the healthiest thing, but maybe something that's quite nice for a treat. I don't know, so we've got birthday cake super mixed up kind of flavour and then there's also these lucky box of unicorn I don't know I feel like those would cause less arguments because they've all got all the colours and those are a pound so we've got Barbie like branded Barbie but who's this I feel like that looks like a logo from a TV show is this Karma is she a TV show from somewhere Anyway, if she has a TV show and your children are into her, they have them in B&M. And the sets are $27.99. Now this Ladybug, the children were watching it, they haven't watched it for a bit. Ladybug and Miraculous, they were really into that for a while. And they've got one Encanto doll set left, and they are $39.99 for four dolls. I know I need cereal. This is something I'm actually needing. Um, oh. I needed crunching up, but nope, they look a bit battered. We, <laughs> I think we want ones that haven't been opened. Um, oh, need Cheerios as well. Let me know in the comments which cereal your family are into. Are you a cereal kind of family or a hot breakfast kind of family? See, when I was little, I always liked these, like, choose your own. These are quite clever though, because like if you're going away, especially if you're going camping or something, you pour the milk directly in. That's kind of clever. Ah, I see this kind of variety pack. This is what I've had when I was little. That's huge though, big, big variety pack. Again, are they just pour the milk straight in kind? Is that what variety pack cereal is now? Like Pop-Tarts or something. They came out when I was little as well. Haven't had those in a really long time. I remember there was a big fiasco, it was on the news. I'm not sure if this has um, been a problem since, but definitely when I was younger, about people burning their faces on them. Is that still a thing? Or are there warnings on Pop-Tarts now to like let them cool before you eat them? I don't think I've had a Pop-Tart since I was very small. Cadbury's are staffing it right up with all their new products. We've got Twill Bites, these Caramac things, £2.99 for a bag of those. Also £2.99 for Twill Bites and also chocolate coated peanuts by Cadbury's. I haven't seen those before. B&M you know, have also always got a selection of what I call weekend cereal, as in stuff that I wouldn't actually let the children eat every day because it's really sugary, but I let them have every now and again. Uh, Williams had something similar to this before, with all the Marvel characters, £30. Those kind of things, 
if you've got uh, a child into Marvel like I have. William loves his Marvel at the moment. And we actually had this Postman Pat set a very long time ago. I think maybe Dylan had this when he was little and he's off to uni this weekend. $29.99. The same stuff, but it's lasted really well actually. They also always have a really good selection of like snack bars, cereal bars and things. I used to eat trackers a lot when I was a teenager. Maybe I have some of those. They'd, they'd be a good snacky thing. I'm also really loving the Nature Valley Crunch Bars at the moment, specifically this flavour. Love those. From the other skinny crunch bars, the, these pink ones, the Rocky Road ones, just aren't as nice as real Rocky Road. But, oh, those are good. And I gotta say, we love party rings in our house. The only thing is, you never know when you get a pack if they're all going to be crumbly ones or if they're going to be okay. Wow. Even more flavours and varieties from the Cadbury's range. So the twirls, these are 69p for one, but orange. So I know that the chocolate buttons we had were that flavour and they were amazing. This caramac is everywhere. So caramac, let me get this straight. It's like chocolate that's caramel flavoured as opposed to has caramel inside. Oh my goodness, this is strange. Is that tropical pineapple chocolate? I mean... That is either going to be, oh, it's 2 99 I kind of want to try that, but not so badly. I want to spend three pounds on a bar. We've also got Caramac Top Deck. So is that special edition? It says Aussie. So are these like, are these types of chocolates really popular in Australia? They've just, the Australian Cadbury's versions that have come over here, is that why they're pricier? Is that why I'm just seeing them for the first time? Oh, and that's even more, even more Dairy Milk. Dairy Milk Bubbly Top Deck. It's just all about mixing up the chocolate. It's what my husband calls messed with. He hates messed with food. He likes it all to be just the same. <laughs> Galaxy are also going all out with their different flavors. So we've got salted caramel, um, making chocolate better one piece at a time. What's that? Is that like a fair trade thing? I think so. One here, responsibly sourced. Yeah, it's a fair trade kind of thing, which is good. Ooh, smooth orange Galaxy. Now that sounds good and had a more of a willing to try it at a pound. Oh, cute. Dolly pram, twin tandem prams, but two dolly teddies, whatever, in. 30 pounds bargain. The kind of thing the girls would love for Christmas. They do actually have dolly prams and they use them all the time. Ah, oh, toilet rolls, we do require these. As a large family, we go through a lot of toilet rolls. So the question is, what works out better value? So here we've got 7.49 for 18 toilet rolls but then not all toilet rolls are created equally so sometimes the toilet rolls are like like that and sometimes they're big and chunky and they've got more on the roll so it's not even about just roll for roll it's almost like you need a sheet for sheet comparison these fabulosa new rolls are scented apparently 4.99 for 18 maybe we should give those a go just because i haven't before and i want to know what they smell like can you smell them through the packet do you know what? I can't smell those through the packet. We're going to have to take them home and sniff them. Oh, they've also got Fabulosa Kitchen Roll, which smells like pear drops, apparently. Maybe I want my kitchen roll to smell like pear drops, or maybe I don't. I don't know. Are you better off with kitchen roll? This is, again, a debate. Just getting one of these, like, jumbo rolls, perhaps. 129, but, like, the ones that are they quite substantial, you know, like, it's not going to fall apart that we really don't go through much kitchen roll years ago i used to use kitchen roll for everything and now i mostly use cloths very rare like occasional like oil spillages and things we use kitchen roll for so maybe one of those will do because let's face it it lasts forever because i don't use much into the aisle with all of the stain removals and things there's a lot of vanish going on we've got vanish carpet cleaner at the top like a big bag so it's like a chuck it on the floor and vacuum it back up there's a carpet care i've used lots of these before i haven't tried the pink stuff stain remover i do quite like the rest of the pink stuff well stuff so maybe we should try one of these the question is so these are 2.99 each the question is what's the difference between pink and well light pink um miracle oxy powder Miracle Oxy Powder. What's the difference? Bright, uh, brighter whites and tough on stains. Ah, uh, makes sense, makes sense. Okay, so which one do we want? And um, when it comes to these pod things for washing, I knew they'd have some more tucked away in the laundry. I normally go for pink. I know I've just gone for like purpley smell, 
I do normally go for this pink gloss and I do like that. So I'm going to have some more. The only thing that like, well not upsets me because you know, that would be a bit far. Why couldn't they make the pink pods actually pink? Because regardless of the colour of the packaging, all the pods are purple, which, you know, is confusing I guess. It's just the smell that changes. Anyway, um, those, they're 8 for 54 washes, one per wash. Uh, full disclosure, I did work on a bold campaign last year maybe, but it wasn't for this smell. I think the scent I worked on is discontinued now. Definitely need some more toilet bleach type stuff. Do we want Damastos or the pink stuff? So Damastos, 49p. This one is 119 for a litre. That, oh, see, that's cheaper. That's 65p for a litre. Um, 65p for a litre. The pink stuff, oh, 133 for a litre. Okay. I mean, it's only going down the toilet, so um, don't really want to spend more than we have to. I've just realised that it was the blue ones that were cheaper. These pink bottom are 9.99. And wait, the exotic pods are 8.49, and they would match the new scent that I've got. But there's only 45 or 42 washes, depending which bag we get. Hmm. So the question is, so that's 18.9 for one. And the 9.99, 54 pods are 18 and a half feet for one. So it's the same, is it? 18, well it's 0.4 of a penny more to try a different scent. So it looks like this scrub daddy was indeed a puppy, but look, that one's a pumpkin without a price. It's a pumpkin without a price. So how much are the others? That is a dog that's $2.49. We might need to try one because it's a pumpkin. What do we think? Also, what's this? A sponge, spelt that way. It looks like a brand that, and then a sponge cloth. Hmm. My eldest is actually starting university. Um, at the point of filming, he is going next weekend, which is terrifying. Most of the stuff I'm having delivered there directly um, because I've got to move everything up and carry it all in. But obviously I'm taking a few bits and pieces that I'm picking up. But most of the big bulky stuff, everything I'm ordering, I'm ordering directly to his uni flat. I still can't resist picking, picking up a couple of little bits though. Like future me that's having to carry it all in won't thank me. but. I just want to get a few little things, you know, little things. Can't quite believe he's going, to be honest. They've got, also got loads of these Dishmatic refill things. Um, now they've got the non-scratch, which are pink, but they've also got the traditional, which are green, which I don't like the colour as much, and why wouldn't you have non-scratch? So, some of those it is. And these are good look. A bit like the Dishmatic, I suppose, but a Scrub Daddy one? Maybe that would be good send to uni for doing dishes because it stands up by itself. Now I don't need one of these because I already have one in the house but uh, these by Lida one two spray things are fantastic. I like to have two pads. We've got one on one in the wash. So easy for cleaning the floor. We've got so many different varieties. This is fabulous. Isn't it? So this is the ready to use disinfectant. Lots of different smells and all these are air so that's an air freshener and sanitizer and a disinfectant and they've got all these which are also kind of ready to use cleaning sprays lots of different scents in the Dettol as well and then oh zooflora disinfectant mist i don't think i've seen that in a can before Ooh, the baby aisle don't actually need baby stuff other than i was cleaning my makeup brushes the other day and i normally use soap and like a little tray thing I wash my brushes on and it's always amazing how disgusting they become but baby shampoo someone was saying and I have bought some since and that's what I've been using and they, it does work better actually than just a bar of soap so your makeup brushes last time you cleaned them when was it if you can't remember they might need doing I've talked about this before my children are getting better but they've always been quite fussy about which toothpaste they like and which one they use and which one isn't too spicy. haven't tried this but the fact that it's got Cars and Elsa on it that would probably go down quite well. Bella currently likes this one and in fact I do need some more of that for our trip that's coming up. I think I've got plenty of the toothpaste that 
William and Zara like. I can but dream of a time where they will all use the same toothpaste. Really don't need any more storage bins, or as they call them on the home edit, or baskets or anything anymore. I've got plenty, but have you even been to B&M? If you haven't looked at all their storage baskets and things, that's really cute. I love that. I don't need it, but I love it. I always love all the, well that's quite sweet, just like peachy colour. I'm always really drawn to all like the greys, whites, and the pinks. <gasps> Look at that lovely dusky pink colour. Gorgeous. I adore these ladder shelves, which are £30 if you're looking for one. But I've got to say, we're not a family that can keep ladder shelves tidy enough. My family like to throw their towels away like this. <laughs> Just and think that that's holding them. It's not. <laughs> we're more of a family that needs to hide the things away behind doors because these gorgeous styled shelves look stunning but I know I'd be the only one to ever put them back like that and they would never ever look like that. Oh I need one of I, I don't need but I, why do I need one of these pink baskets? Or my more to the point why do I not need an organized kitchen? Well, I've got one of these from Ikea just like a plain white one. I love it in pink. I just I can't think for life of me where I could put it or what I need it for. I just know I love it. Oh, something else I absolutely do not need, um, but love. $34.99 for these rainbow drawers. Be really nice for like a playroom. We did used to have a rainbow playroom in the last house, actually. They would have been lovely in there. Or a garage, perhaps, because they're kind of more like a garagey, plasticky drawer. But if you've got to have plastic drawers, why not rainbow ones? And prepare yourselves for Christmas baking stuff. It's already out on the shelves. Now I could do with some more organisation stuff for inside my freezer. Some of it is looking a bit battered and needs replacing. However, I do know I need to measure the stuff I need before just randomly and haphazardly buying things to take home that won't fit. I have a lot of canisters very similar to this with a kind of the lockdown mechanism. Ours are from Amazon, but I love this kind of concept where they stack like so. So much easier even if you have them on the countertop or away in the cupboards it just makes life so much easier when everything stacks neatly maybe this is what i should buy for my teenager to go to university so that he knows that he should be eating vegetables ah now having said there were no like bath product i thought that william's friends would like there's nerf bath fizzers and also this play anywhere bath gun thing and shower gel, a bit random, can't see a price on it. Could be a good birthday present for a class friend or stocking filler type thing. I've got lots of these fajita kits, which we've had before, they're just very easy, quick teas. Haven't had these pockets, don't know if they're worth a try. There's a burrito kit, um, and also a stand and stuff. Now we have tried these, and we just found that they ended up making a lot more mess than this kind. So we found wraps were easier, especially when you do the wrap trick with the folding. <laughs> Again, I guess I need to say, um, this isn't an ad, but I have worked on, with Old El Paso before, um, but this isn't an ad. Do we need to try a burrito kit? William had a burrito in the airport on the way back from Florida and really enjoyed it. Really tired. Wow, if your child is into Xbox, there is a lot of Xbox merch. Ditto with PlayStation merch. PlayStation Lite thingy, lots of, oh, and Call of Duty, that's a sort of game, and Minecraft. Mine are really into Minecraft, um, but haven't gone so far as having merch. Oh my goodness, they've got phone grips, Disney ones. These are called Spin Pops. Now we've got pop sockets, so I assume that these are not quite the same thing, and oh my goodness. Now, um, if you're here, you're on my main channel, but you may or may not know I have a Disney channel as well. That is a selfie ring light, a Disney selfie ring light. There is a Mickey or there is a Minnie. The Mickey's probably a more sensible size because it's gonna fit in your bag better, but look how pretty Minnie is. Look how pretty. They have in fact got lots of like Disney bits in here. So, whoop. Let's pretend I didn't just drop that on the floor. Um, let's try that again. They've got Mickey and Minnie bath fitters, <laughs> as well as princesses. They've got these princess shower packs. Uh, lots of drinks bottles and actually a lot more kind of marbly stuff as well so they've got the Marvel and the Lightyear with Star Command bath duo and some nice drinks bottles too Ooh, and Avengers headphones I think William would probably quite like those although he does already have headphones and this giant head things are oh, their masks ah light up masks cool oh my goodness they've also got these giant Mickey like tripod big lights 
large ring light with phone holder in Mickey shape. Those are cool. So what I was saying before I got too excited by the uh, Mickey and Minnie lights is these spin pops, I'm assuming, are very much like a pop socket um, in that you can secure them on the back of your phone. See, I have one. This is a pop socket which kind of attached on the back of my phone. And I've actually got my pop socket on one of these discs. Let's put that down there and show you. Mine is on a metallic disc which is magnetic. So the pop socket snaps onto there, but I can still remove it to wirelessly charge my phone. I will link these little disc thingies um, below in the description and the blog post of this video. But the pop socket bit, which you can get for five pounds, um, you can change around and they go on the back of your phone. And if like me, you've got um, small hands, but a big phone, you can pick it up easily without dropping it. Still on kind of Christmas gifts. Can't believe we're talking about Christmas already. Sorry about saying the C word so much. There's lots of Harry Potter too. Um, I bought some of these before to go in the present box. I think they were something I picked up for William's friends. There are mugs, stationery. William's had a lot of these pens with the houses on them. And they've even got Gryffindor and Slytherin and everything. Drinks bottles. And friends. Gosh, see, when I was in school, I used to go to dancing. It's not on a Thursday and there was an episode of Friends that we had to record it to come back and watch it after the production. They've got Pivot, 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 Friends Notes, there's Annual Lobster, the Turkey, Central Perk. Friends or not, I do love a clicky pen. Gotta love a clicky pen. Adorable dressing table, not like super practical or anything, but really cute, 50 pounds. And they come with a little stool, which is really sweet. So they've got them in white and pink. And then a sort of blue one as well, which is quite cute. But I do love the kind of, the very, it feels like very Beauty and the Beastie, you know, that kind of curved mirror. Gorgeous. Oh, 60 pounds, that one says. Said 50 down the bottom. Oh my goodness. I spy tinsel. We're getting towards seasonal. Here we are entering the seasonal. I was looking for Halloween and I accidentally stumbled into Christmas. So they've got these, they're called Nutcracker dolls. Lots of red and white. Oh gosh, giant nutcracker dolls the size of my five-year-old. Love all these like icy blues and silvers. Really love those. Not really ready for Christmas yet, if I'm honest. I'm on the lookout for Halloween. Although I do like that star. And these pretty tree skirts are very nice too. 12 pounds. Good price. I know I said I wasn't gonna buy anything Christmassy. But look at this, it's a pink tree skirt. Do I need a pink tree skirt? I mean, we've got cream ones, but we may be adding an additional tree this year, which I will explain when I'm back home in a vlog, so make sure you are subscribed. There might be a one more tree. Oh, these are cute too. I mean, I don't really need them. They're cute though. Maybe we should just take like a little snapshot, mental snapshot of these and remind myself to come back for all the Christmas things, because I'm not sure if I can buy Christmas things in September. Don't know. Oh, these are nice. Having said, she's not looking at any more Christmas stuff. Nine pounds for Christmas sacks. These are lovely and soft. The only thing is, like most of my children have like quite normal initials, <laughs> but there's never any Z for Zara anywhere. There's a Buffer Bella. Yeah. All for my four children. I mean, we could just turn a net on its side, we could not. Nope. Nope, that's not gonna work. Sorry kids, they're lovely, but I can't just have one child with the right letter and the other's having random letters. Ah, found it. Halloween. Hello Halloween. Fake blood. See, I'm not sure if we go kind of like all out blood Halloween. There's face paint crayons, family makeup, and Costume wise, I think we're pretty good. The children have Halloween costumes that fit them from last year. If you do like Halloween and you're not yet following me over on my Disney channel, make sure you are because we are heading to Disneyland Paris for the opening weekend of Halloween. So we'll be showing you all of the spooky, or not so spooky stuff, that they have to offer there. We're so excited. But I still want to decorate the house, either just before we leave or just when we get back. Halloween. So they've got quite a lot of adult costumes as well. Okay, the clown is really creepy. 
I'm not liking that. Oh, no. See, Halloween for me, I'd rather go on the less creepy side of... Yeah, I, that's too scary for me. Too scary. We want, want more like sparkly pumpkin. Like, more like this. This is more like it. Like, like this. And like, I like these. The nice autumn wreath. I think I'm looking more autumnal than scary. So, these are cute. These are four pounds. 15 pounds door wreath. Very nice. And then these, see? Pumpkins, nice pumpkins. Ready painted because I'm not crafty enough to do them myself. I quite like this lantern though. That's cool. What do we think of that? That's a six pound mystical lantern and it lights up. So there's no actual candle in it. Should we try it? No, nope, you need to take the little tab thing out and put a battery in. But still, I think that's kind of cool. I think I bought one of these last year. And, ah, uh, see, this is nice. I think I got one of these on Amazon last year, but I think mine was more than eight pounds. Or maybe it was about eight pounds, I can't remember. But those are nice. Mine lit up and it makes a really nice light. Maybe we'll get, just get another one of those for another room. I think I just have one in the office. Oh, they've got them down here as well. Yeah, perhaps one of those for another room would be good. Oh, I was gonna say I really like that and then I saw the bird on it. Oh, all the feathers, it's very kind of maleficent, evil, whatever. But the scary bird might be taking it just a bit too far for me. I don't know, what do you think? Spooky feather thing, cool creepy or just, just creepy creepy? Oh, I love these little fluffy treat bags. I've got a ghost, a pumpkin and a spider. Also really liking the witch's broom like bucket things and really like the trick or treat bowl. Some, I think it's that horrible clown going off down there. It's really, really creepy. <laughs> so we've got glow stick necklace ones. I'm sure we'll probably quite like those. Um, I think half term is actually covering Halloween and fireworks night. So maybe those would be kind of cool. Glow sticks and we've got Halloween lights and a rather cool Halloween curtain. That's quite sweet. Then there's an actual Halloween pumpkin carving kit. I'm gonna admit that just seems like an awful lot of very messy, very hard work. Um, and then they go smelly and moldy and then we have to throw them away. So probably not gonna be doing actual pumpkin carving. I've got this rather creepy, but maybe quite cool light up spider web as well. And these 40 connecting glow sticks for £2.50. Maybe those are better value than these wand necklace things. Oh, and rather cute bath fizzers, which are priced at, hard to say, there's a ghost, spooky spice scented, and a pumpkin scented. See, they look cute, but I'm not sure the children are gonna enjoy the smells of those. Oh my goodness. Halloween baking sprinkles. And I may not carve a pumpkin, but we will do some Halloween cakes I think those are cool so like I said we don't actually need uh, Halloween costumes this year but if you are on the lookout for some there's this quite sweet one for 12 pounds pretty in pink this one um, which says skull kind of more like a day of the dead um, kind of feel to it which is really pretty werewolf which is not as scary as that horrible clown down there I did not like um, and then oh actually the scary clown there's a child scary clown that I, we have to move away from that. I'm not sure about that at all. The sparkly cat is cute, as is the vampire bat. Oh, and I love the monster munchkin. That's lovely. The vampire bat, just not, not sure about this one. Also, a Franken baby monster and a sparkly pumpkin. And it looks like they're unpacking, they're not out yet. Some seasonal crafted doormats for Christmas. Christmas is coming guys, Christmas is coming. Is it weird that I'm kind of sad that my children are mostly past the Peppa Pig stage? I mean, don't get me wrong, if it was on TV, they would sit there with their mouths open and watch it, but they probably wouldn't choose to put it on now. End of an era, kind of sad. Oh, we used to have these and the children all love them. So cute present, like sorting, counting, it sings a very catchy tune. Um, if you're looking for a present for a very little one. Oh, they all went through a very big Hey Dougie phase as well. Oh, They're growing up too quickly. Bring back Hey Dougie. Is that a baby shark for the water? And yours are still singing baby shark. And I'm sure you're now singing in your head. Sorry about that. There's baby sharks in DNM.
lots of these fidget toys make really good like birthday party toys or party bag fillers or even stocking fillers so maybe just like that on its own wouldn't be enough but maybe they could have that and something else to take to a birthday party depending on how much you spend how close they are to your children but quite often I fill my present box with bits like this maybe if the children have done something really well they need a reward for like achieving a certificate in school or something and they choose something from the present box or they choose a couple of bits from the present box some are little things like this some are more pricey so they'd either choose a few little bits for a friend's birthday or one bigger thing there's a big disney princess castle in lego down from 89.99 to 75.99 they've also got this lego book of bruno the girls have had these before they kind of fold into these little things like a poly pocket but out of lego that's 13.99 i might have seen those slightly cheaper other places but they haven't always got them in stock because obviously Encanto is so popular at the moment. Wow, they've even got advent calendars already in stock. And I'm just getting ready for Halloween. Okay, so let's get this lot paid for. I'm going to use my trolley bags to take everything home. They just roll out across the trolley. It makes it so, so easy to transport everything from the end to the car and the car to the house. Um, so if you haven't got some of these, um, I will I'll link them below. But I'm going to pay for this stuff now, get home and show what I've got in the haul. So I kind of ran out of time to film the haul portion of this video yesterday. It is now the next day, in case you haven't guessed from the change of clothes. And I've dropped the children in school and I can show you what I've bought. So as I mentioned, I've got these trolley bags. I try to divide things up at the checkout into kind of categories so it makes it easier to film if I'm filming or put things away when I get home. So I should, in theory, have a bag of household, a bag of Halloween, and a bag of food. But oh, in practice, whether I manage to do that or not is a different matter. Okay, let's start with food because I've got a big bag of food and then a tiny bag of food. So I did get a box of tracker bars. I haven't had these since I was a teenager, but I seriously used to eat them all the time. I think when I was a teenager, they didn't have as many types of cereal bars out as they have now. But I always liked these. Chocolate wise, had to try the Galaxy Orange. That looks delicious. Galaxy is one of my favorite chocolates because it's really, really creamy. So looking forward to trying that. Although this one's looking a bit battered. And then we also had to try orange and the big purple one from the Quality Street. Because arguably, I would say those are two of the best picks from Quality Street. Let me know in the comments which are your personal favourites from Quality Street. I got a big box of Cheerios, which are the cereal of choice for most weekdays for most of my children. And then I got some hideously unhealthy weekend cereal, but they'll enjoy that as a little treat on the weekends. I got some of these dinner kits that were on the point of sale at the end of the aisle. Um, I like these especially because they are big family size, because quite often I have to buy if I've got a dinner kit, um, which I only tend to buy these if they're on offer as a bit of a deal, but generally the dinner kits don't have quite enough wraps for our family because we're a family of six so i have to use a dinner kit and a pack of wraps separately but this one is a bigger one which is why i grabbed that that's the fajita one it is the mild one um i don't mind spicy foods but the children really really don't are not keen even though my husband will eat spicy food the children just spend the whole time going ah my tongue and won't eat spicy food so it's got to be the cool options and simply because they were kind of there and on offer i got the burrito kit to try and the enchilada kit as well Enchiladas are one of my favourites. It's always if we go to a Mexican restaurant, that will be what I go for. Um, and the burrito one, just thought we'd try it because we hadn't tried it before. These just make really simple after school kind of easy peasy meals. Especially if, um, what I quite often do is if we've got too many peppers and things, I will chop them all up in one go and then use what I need to use for that night and put the rest in the freezer. So some school nights, then we can just grab pre-chopped things and sling them in. And when we're really tight on time, especially if the children got activities and things to go to, that saves a few minutes. And then I have I even been to B&M if I didn't get some Skinny Whip Mint and some Skinny Whip Strawberry. I know I said a report back about all the others and my honest conclusion is I've tried almost all of the flavors of Skinny Whip bars and the variations of them. But these two original ones 
will forever be my favourites, I think. None of the others just come close to how good these are. The only problem with these are so yummy, it's really difficult not to just chain eat them and eat the whole box at once. I also got some of these Nature Valley Crunch Bars. I like to eat these sometimes as a mid-morning snack. They are quite crumbly, so I tend to eat them over a plate. It's not the kind of, some bars you can just kind of eat on the go. These really do shed all the crumbs, but they're so worth it. Really good kind of mid-morning pick-me-up. Might have one of those after I finish filming this actually. I did get these quick milk straw things for the children to try in birthday cake flavour. They've got all the multicolours in them, so we shouldn't argue over flavours and colours and things. No idea if they're any good or they're nice at all. It's never something that I would fancy. I don't drink milkshakes and things like that. Uh, but I don't know, have your family tried these and what do they think of them? And then I got some oat pulp fruits. Now, I did discuss this in my weekly vlog as well, but I feel it has to be said again because it is that important to me and to other people, I am sure. So, Opal Fruits changed to Starburst, didn't they? Now, this was when I was younger at some point, to the point where people my age kept calling them Opal Fruits. Even to this day, really, I would think of them as Opal Fruits and then realise they'd been rebranded as Starburst. So I went to the till, I said to the, I guess, quite young-ish boy working on the till, oh, they've changed them back. They're back to opal fruits. And he said, what did they change them from? Meaning he only ever knew Starburst as Starburst and didn't know that they were opal fruits ever because he was not old enough to remember that, which made me feel really, really old. So please do let me know if you remember when they were opal fruits the first time round and uh, let me know how old you are and perhaps we can figure out when the big change happened. And anyway, maybe I'm the only one that's chuffed that uh, this feels really nostalgic and they're back to opal fruits, but I'm happy. Okay, I'm happy. On to a bit of household stuff. So we've got this fabulosa toilet roll. Oh, that just exploded everywhere. I couldn't really sniff them in the shop because that's weird. They do smell a bit. It doesn't look like super amazingly quality kind of nice plush toilet roll but it does have a gentle scent to it and it is I guess soft enough I just suppose we'll have to see how quickly we go through it and whether we have any complaints from my family about which toilet rolls I have and then I got a big mega jumbo roll of kitchen roll um, again this actually doesn't seem like super good quality kitchen roll we don't go through a lot of kitchen roll but then when it doesn't absorb as much when you do use it you have to use more so I think sometimes it can be false economy to scrimp on things like kitchen roll I got some pink stuff um, some I got some pink stuff stain remover and I got two varieties I did decide to buy both the oxy powder like the general and the whitening one because I think treating stains with the right thing is the way to kind of get stuff out. It's the kind of powdery stuff that I might soak um, something that's especially stained, you know, like ketchup or something in the sink with some water first before bunging a bit of this in addition in the washing machine. I got a couple of bleach. The bleach itself may not be pink, uh, but the bottle is. And this one worked out a good price per litre, uh, you know, pennies per litre. I got three of the toothpastes that Bella likes, partly because I need one for our travel bag and partly because these are quite small and partly because I found these hard to find when I've been shopping online doing grocery shops, so I thought I'd stock up. Um, and sometimes buying things like toothpaste from Amazon can be a costly way to buy it. So sometimes a lot of things from Amazon can be cheaper, but I find things like toiletries on Amazon are not necessarily cheaper and perhaps I'm better off in places like B&M. I got some bin bags. I try and buy extra large and durable bin bags because again, having to go through lots of bin bags because they are thin and flimsy and have ripped is kind of false economy. Although for my eldest to go off to university, I am having the majority of things just delivered straight there. I have picked up one or two bits and pieces, including some washing up liquid. Um, I'm, I've actually got a supermarket shop being delivered there the day he moves in. So I could have had that with it, but um, this one I thought, you know, 
bacterial protection for your sponge. I thought it could go with this, this scrub daddy sponge thing. So I think it's a bit like the uh, dishmatic thing that I use in our kitchen, but obviously he's not gonna have a dishwasher at all. He's gonna be doing all the dishes by hand. So this has got a bit more kind of scrub power on it. Um, so, and it also stands up by itself. So ours doesn't do that. Ours lives in a little pot, so that can actually stand up next to the sink to do the dishes and just can't quite believe that it's all happening so soon and he's leaving so soon. I'm gonna stop talking about that now before I get emotional. But anyway, that's for him. And for my dishmatic thing, I did get some of the pink refill heads. Then I got a whole load of laundry supplies to try. Um, I decided that I did like this um, exotic bloom. If you squeeze the top of these, you can smell it. It does smell really nice. So I decided to try the exotic bloom fabric softener to go with it. I actually bought two of these scent boosters because again, scent boosters, you can't necessarily get the selection of scents and things when you are shopping. I also got one bag of that new scent of exotic bloom pods, but then I did grab one bag of the pink pods as well that I do know I like the scent of. We do go through so much washing stuff. And again, if it's a good price, it's not the kind of stuff that goes off, I like to stock up because there's nothing worse than running out of washing supplies when you've got a family of six that goes through so much washing. Now on to some fun Halloween-y stuff. I did get this silver pumpkin, which doesn't have batteries in it. At the moment. Oh, does it? Oh, it does. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see that because it's so dark, but it has actually got batteries in it and it is lighting up. The other one I tried in store, I thought it didn't have batteries. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, you can't tell in this light, but hopefully in the dim light when we decorate for Halloween, which I guess won't be long now till we'll be doing that, um, then that will be ready to go. I got this nice purpley white clean tablecloth. I just thought the purple range, this was seven pounds, was such a nice change from the normal Halloween stuff that you see. And it's just, I just thought it was really beautiful. I'm not sure if we're gonna end up using these much, but I did get a pack of 40 Halloween pink purpley napkins and some black boo Halloween napkins too. And they were £2.50 per pack. I almost bought those glow wand things I saw and then I picked these up instead. Now I might actually pack some of these for when we go to Disneyland Paris at the beginning of October for Halloween. They're like connector things and the children can wear them around their necks and things, but I thought perhaps they'd be quite fun for wearing in the Halloween parade in the dark or for fireworks. And then the rest of them perhaps we can use for actual Halloween when we get back or even on Friday night. Curtain light, this orange curtain light for just decorating inside the house. This was five pounds when we put up our Halloween spooky decorations. I've got this big bag of pick and mix Halloween stuff to put in the Halloween treat bowl. It's good that they're kind of individually sized so when children's friends come over they can each pick something but then anything kind of left out in the Halloween treat bowl remains covered and you know hygienic. And then I got some really cool sprinkles. I only literally found this one of them in B&M. I don't know where the rest were but these are, they look like frogs. Are those frogs? And then we've got purpley sprinkles. I think those are skulls and then some green and purple. So I've now got to um, tidy up all of this mess, which you can catch the rest of my day in the weekly vlog, which is just over here on screen now to see what I've been up to yesterday and what I'm getting up to later on today and in the rest of the week. So click over here. I'll see you guys soon.